Well, good afternoon. It's Cutworm. You said you were looking forward to seeing the progress on my muzzleloader build. So, this is going to be a short one. Just going to show a little steps because, you know, plus man, we're not pulling a fast one on you. I'm actually building this thing. So, I went over to a friend's house. And if you remember my last video, had that long stick of wood I found at Menards. Well, he let me use his bandsaw. And so I cut him in two pieces. So this is going to be the wood that goes underneath the barrel. So I'm going to glue these two together. I'm using Type Bond Original Glue. And got me an acid brush. I checked the flatness. It's really flat. Can't see a big gap. So I'm going to apply glue to each surface. Oh yeah. I'm doing this in the garage. A little too much there. So it won't set up real fast because it's a little cold out here. And then start the corn burner. Um, we'll take it inside the house after I get them clamped together so they can, you know, dry better. I was, I looked up on the internet. They have three types of this tight bond glue. Um, one is the original that really is the strongest as far as the joint. I mean, it's harder than the wood itself. Uh, they have another, I think a type bond type two that's like outdoor water resistant. And they have a third that's a, if you're doing a big project, that it's, it sets up slow. It gives yourself time to get all the pieces in place before the glue starts to set. So we got one side painted up, paint up the other. I know this is exciting, but trust me, it'll get more exciting. So I guess this is a poor man's muzzle loader. Um, I found this wood on sale at Menards, this maple, and sorted through about five or six pieces. And man, when I saw the tiger stripe jump out, I Again, I thought it was the shrink wrap, but now nah, it was the wood. It was the wood. Oh man, I'm making a mess here with that. So, I mean, your first experimental gun, I mean, you, you use a little common sense, you don't lot of money on it you know it's kind of like you got to learn how to play the guitar you don't go out and buy a fifteen thousand dollar Martin acoustic guitar and start seeing if you could play twinkle twinkle little star or even if you have the skill set to play a guitar so We'll see how this goes. I, like I said, I made a banjo. I went and got wood and I made a mandolin. Hopefully, you know, I don't forget what I'm doing and I end up having a, a banjo muzzle loader. You know, half, half muzzle loader, half banjo will travel. That's a good one, Cutworm. Half muzzle loader, half banjo, will travel with Buzzman 54. Alright, let's see if we can get these quick clamps 
gallon. See how quick they really are. I left, you know, a lot to play with. Ooh, the glue is oozing out. Good thing this stuff's water base. What I wanted to do is at least get the one flat surface somewhat flat. I'm gonna have to stand up, folks, for this. I know that's something new on YouTube seeing bus man stand up. Let's see what this surface here looks like. about these big babies hey there's more surface there let's clamp more one more for good measure
cell. Do we think I got enough clamps on it? You know, <laughs> being an old tool maker and working on building motors, surprising I didn't get my torque wrench out and set the tightness right on the money with each one. But this is wood, it's forgiving, right? All right, not sure if y'all want to do this at home the way I did, but does that look like a muzzle loader? Or more like a collage of C clamps and quick clamps? All right, that's it. This was a short one. Um, we'll catch you up on the next step. Busman54. Hey, it's snowing here. Can you believe it? 23rds, white out almost. But it is Christmas. If I don't put up another video on all my YouTube buddies, make sure you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. All right, Busman's cold. I don't have the corn burner going. Got to get this inside. We'll see you next time.